Hey everybody, welcome back to Endeavor. Uh, today we're gonna look at variations of the kettlebell deadlift. Now, uh, we've got some videos on deadlifting, breathing, bracing, all that type stuff. I'm gonna give you a quick synopsis on the general kettlebell deadlift. And then this video is really about showing you a couple of different variations that can challenge midline stability in the way that we get things up off the ground, um, just in a different manner. Mix things up, get outside of the standard bilateral sagittal plane type area. So when I do a basic kettlebell deadlift, what we like to focus on is keeping my feet flat in the ground, so making sure I'm engaging with my entire foot and keeping good midline stability. You'll hear that a lot. For us, midline stability comes into keeping the rib cage and the pelvis parallel, essentially is what we're looking for here, and then filling the belly with tension and air actually pushing outward, okay? There's a whole video and stuff on that. The big thing is if I maintain spinal position and I keep my feet flat in the ground, when I go down to get that deadlift or I get that kettlebell, all I simply need to do is push through the ground and squeeze the glutes to get into that finish, okay? If my feet are flat and have full contact, then that means I'm taking care of me dropping my knees in, me over rotating outward. If I'm focused on good alignment of the pelvis and the rib cage and good pressure, then I'm gonna negate a lot of the over rounding or over arching, right? So really general idea, feet nice and flat, good solid base, I'm gonna go down, hips back, squat, drive to come up, come through that position. So it's your basic kettlebell deadlift. Now, we wanna look at a couple of different variations, okay? So we're gonna fire through these real quick, a couple of cool ways you can mix up the way you use the kettlebell for your deadlift. First one's gonna be really simple, it's gonna be a sumo version. So I take my feet a little bit wider, as I get into a wider stance, I'm gonna allow my feet to turn outward. Right, breathe and brace, keep the feet flat, hips arch and go back, spread the floor as I go to come up. I get a different recruitment out of the body, I get a good hip opening, I'm engaging the glutes, all fantastic stuff. One of my favorite ones to do is actually to do lateral lunges where I slide from one side to the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the kettlebell off to one side and I'm gonna lateral lunge into that side. I'm gonna go down, reach across, far side, pick the kettlebell up, slide to the opposite lateral lunge, reach, pick the kettlebell up, slide to the opposite lateral lunge, reach, pick the kettlebell up, slide to the opposite. So the straight leg is the arm I'm reaching across my body, feet are still staying flat, brace is staying exactly where I wanted it before, and I'm simply shifting and pulling that back and forth, okay? So that's another really great version of the kettlebell deadlift. One of my favorites is going single arm kettlebell deadlifts. So I get myself set up over top, breathe brace through the belly, good solid position, lean down, keep the kettlebell on the center line as opposed to letting it drift off to one side, good position all the way down, switch, boom, switch, boom, fantastic. And then last but certainly not least, again, another way to challenge the positions as we go, I'm gonna set a kettlebell in the front and in the back. Good solid brace, good position. I'm gonna turn my torso, go down, grab both kettlebells, stand up, hips through, and then I can simply switch and go the opposite direction there. So mixing things up is really good. You get a different stimulus for the body, challenge muscles and movement patterns in different ways, and then that will carry over better into different areas of life, lifting, fighting, everything that goes with it. So, Give them a try, have some fun. We'll see you guys next time.